Michelle and Loren. Uh, don't, nobody has to. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I do too, babe. So as you can see, we are here in my classroom and I am super, 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 super excited at this point to start decorating my classroom. But as you can see, it is very tiresome at the same time. Like, girl, why are you picking up all that by yourself? But anywho, um, so yeah, let's get into it. So for any new teachers out there, what I can really say is organization is key. My classroom did not take too long for me to set up. It took a matter of two days and that's because I am super, super organized. As you can see, I already have a bunch of stuff on the right side of the screen that is in two bins and it's pretty much organized. I know everything that's in each bin and when I come back to school, I just pull out what I need from there and get to setting up my furniture. So at this point there were some things in the classroom that I felt really needed to be sanitized and wiped down and that's what I was doing there with those lap desks and then I wanted to set up my library. Um, the floors just got waxed and they really tell us not to drag anything on the floors but you know one cannot be superwoman so here I am dragging my library back to its destination. So at this point, I'm kind of just aimlessly walking around like, yes, I am taking things out of boxes and you think I'm putting them places and there's a rhyme and a reason, but there really isn't. I'm just taking everything that was donated to my classroom from people on my social media and just taking it out. And as you can see, I'm literally just walking around singing, like not doing anything productive like that is what it is sometimes. So 
So these flexible seating are a great option for students who maybe don't want to sit in a chair for a very long time. You can put them on the floor. You can also put them in their chair to offer a little bit of cushion. And thankfully, someone on my social media, Jaylene, went ahead and donated that to my classroom. So I'm very thankful. But as you can see here in this moment, I'm like literally talking to my teacher bestie. But I told myself I had to keep working at the same time because if not, then nothing would get done. Okay? Okay, so after that wonderful dance break, this is where you actually see me moving desk. And I honestly feel like when you start arranging desk in a classroom is when the classroom comes together. That and when you start putting up things on the wall. Because as you can see, my walls are super blank. But no worries, we'll take care of that a little bit later. So here what I'm doing is, again, just moving some chairs and moving some desk. And figuring out the placement of where I want those desks to go for the beginning of the school year. One of the more tedious things I have to say about a classroom, especially if you have very tall and wide walls, is going to be borders. So you can see the back of this wall is completely made out of corkscrew. So I went ahead and put like a white cloth material on it to go ahead and cover that ugly brown. So I'm going to, at this point, be removing the current border from my last school year and adding the groovy border, the retro theme border that I'm using for the school year. Hey guys, I think this is actually the first time I'm picking up the camera and even talking to you all today. So, it is Tuesday, August 15th, and I'm at work. I'm in my classroom. And as you can see, it's been a long morning. And it doesn't help that my boyfriend kind of got me a little sick. So, I tell myself I'm going to give myself until 1 o'clock. It is currently 12.35. I'm going to get back to work. I have to finish changing out the border on the walls before I can put up anything else that I want to. There's a lot to do still. I'm taking a little break.
One thing I do want to say to all my teachers out there, because I'm starting on Monday. I don't know when you started, but I am here with you. I feel you. I see you. You are heard, okay? But one thing I want you to do this school year is just give yourself grace. Remind yourself that you are one bad teacher doing the thing, okay? So nobody else can do it, and if they could do it, they would. So I finished that portion. Now I have to remove that and that and that and do that. Eventually do those because I couldn't get that done. So I had to have Carl come. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the vlog, y'all. Things did not go as planned. I'm home. I went to work this morning and wearing a mask, but my assistant principal, she could tell that something was off with me. So she kind of came over to me. She touched my shoulder. She felt just how warm I was. And she was like, listen, you're doing no good being here for yourself, for us, for your students. So go ahead and just go home and your team will catch you up on information and stuff like that. So, so that is where we're at right now. I did not go to work today, which I'm... I did go to work, but I was sent home. So I'm a little sad about that because we were supposed to be sponsored and having Haitian food. So that's a little disappointing, but I have to take care of me, myself and my health. So that's what I am doing. I will pick you guys up hopefully tomorrow. Mm -hmm.